Good afternoon from London, England. This is your host, your guy, again, DLG Repping or DLG Repping's Daily Transfer News. Bringing you up to date um, speculation and what's going on in the transfer news in the department of Arsenal. And um, Mazza Ozil was seen at Fenerbahce coming off the plane, well, on the plane, landing in um, Turkey, Fenerbahce, and um, he's about to finalise um, the deal that will make him a Fenerbahce player. So no more Mazza Ozil at Arsenal. The affair... The controversial affair, should I say, has come to an end after over seven years. Um, I thank him for the memorable moments. I thank him for um, the brilliance he brought to the team. But over the last three to four years, it just hasn't worked out um, for him. For himself, um, he needed to play football. And he knows how talented he was. So, in the end, he got his move. But he decided, I'm going to stay at Arsenal for as long as um, possible. For as long as my contract states that I can stay at Arsenal, I'm staying. Well, he didn't get to um, stay to, towards the end because he will not be leaving in the summer. He's leaving this month. In fact, I believe he's in Fenerbahce. So, Arsenal fans... Um, are you delighted or sad for Mazza Ozil to depart, Arsenal, depart from Arsenal? Please leave it in the comment section below. Your thoughts and your opinions are always welcome. Um, if, I'm, if you ask me, um, if you ask me, in my humble opinion, I'm sad on how it's ended, and um, it never ended um, on the high. It's ended on a sour note, and. It's a shame for him, shame for the club, his teammates and the supporters that it's ended in a sour note. You know, he could have been remembered for the brilliance he brought um, to that number 10 shirt, to the club, to the team. However, um, <clears throat> I think he had a fallout with um, Arteta mainly, so he decided not to even include him in the 25-man squad in domestic action and as well as in Europe. So, yeah, it goes to show that um, no matter how big you are, you miss about, you misbehave, you will get um, punished. I mean, there could have been a number of reasons why Ozil did not even get included to the squad. Something he said about, um, something he said, mentioned about China some um, inappropriate word, um, comment about China, China, I believe, or maybe footballing reasons, but there's got to be more to it for me. I would love the story and the tr I love the truth to come out in a story that Ozil would um, put put in his autobiography if it ever comes out. But I'll be, mm, I'll be um, awaiting the unexpected. So, uh, moving on from Ozil, Alexander Lacazette now. Atletico Madrid have re... Yeah, they've, they've re... Um, what's the word? Yeah, they, they've um, reassured that... They, well, not reassured, but they've re... Um, in, they've reinstated themselves to... A bid to get um, Lacazette to Atletico Madrid. It's a funny coincidence in some senses because now that he's picked up a bit of form now, if Letico Madrid have um, shown their re-interestment in um, Lacazette. Now, for me, I have nothing. I have nothing against Letico Madrid. They've got um, the rights to bid for a striker who they feel that can um, help them towards um, the goals and. They've identified Lacazette as um, that guy. I mean, for me, <clears throat> I mean, what can I say? You just have to look at um, his track record at Leon, and he's still better than what it is at Arsenal. Although recently, yes, um, he's had about four or five goals 
in five games. So he is a bit. He is on a bit of form. Although the last game he did not play particularly well, there wasn't much coming from him. And um, you have to say the service was restricted as well. But he did, he did um, he, and he could have worked a little bit harder off the ball. Um, I don't know if this will happen. I don't believe it will happen. He will still be an Arsenal player um, for the new season. And um, that's my, um, my stance on it. Um, moving on to another striker following Balogun. Now, the last time we spoke about him is because, uh, because um, there was a report that he agreed to join um, IB Leipzig. Uh, we don't know the, the, the exact fee, but I would assume it's um, undisclosed. And um, it seems to me that he wants to get first team football and uh, Mikel Arteta has not um, trusted him enough for some apparent reason. So he's quite, he's come to the point in his um, career that he would like to be playing regular football. And it means he's not he's not going to fulfil his dreams and play for the club that he's been supporting or been at the academy since uh, such a young age, then, you know, he knows it's time for for him to move on and um, challenge himself. And um, I'd be Leipzig, we want to give him the opportunity to um, do just that. Um, ins now, I'm looking at um, some ins in my mind. Uh, Emir Brendia. Now, excuse me. Now, Emir Brendia is a guy that um, I quite like, I rate highly. Very skillful on the ball. Um, he is fantastic at um, picking up um, spaces between the defence and midfield, and a very he's a very clever footballer. And for me, he's exactly he's 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 exactly what we need as the the number ten. And um, I do rate him quite highly. Whether he will make the move from Norwich City to Arsenal this month. Um, it kind of hangs in the balance, although Nor- Norwich have stamped their authority down and they've said to they've said to him or the media that he will not be making a move um, this January transfer window. So I assume there's a possibility that we've got more of a realistic ch- um, chance of signing um, Emir Bandura in the summer. Um, again, Arsenal fans, what do you think of it? Is that um, a realistic possibility that it's more likely to happen in the summer than in this month's transfer window? Leave your comments and your views. Um, leave your views and your com- um, and your um, opinions in my comment section below. You're more than welcome to do so. Um, Isco. Now, this is a guy who <coughs> was talked about um, quite a lot at the beginning of the transfer window. Now. I think the speculations has dried up a bit, but um, he still he still remains um, a thought of in in our thoughts in some of our thoughts as fans, maybe in the management's fault, possibly in the board of directors' fault. This is a guy who is um, a proven world class player in his position that he plays in. God knows how many times he's played for Real Madrid, and um, he is a Spanish international as well, so he comes with a vast amount of experience. Will we go in for him, um, this January transfer window? Maybe, maybe not, but one thing for sure, <laughs> they've offered him a six-month loan deal. Now, for me, it's only six months, you know, with a playmaker, and with someone like um, Anisco, he will help um, push Emil Rose-Smith a lot harder in training. I mean, it will give Edmund Rose Smith something to think about. A bit of competition with a guy called Isco. Now, it's a down to Isco to cement his place in the team. And, um, yeah, produce the goods like Edmund Rose Smith is doing. And not only cement, not, not only cement um, his place in the team and produce goods, He's got to be able to adapt um, very quickly into the English culture of the game. 
Um, fast tackling, fast balls played at 110 miles per hour. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's manic at times. So he's got to be prepared to handle that situation. That's you know that side of the um, the side of the Premier League. You know it's going to be demanding. Where Rose Real, Real Smith is growing used to it now, so it'll be interesting. It'll be an interesting battle. If we were to get Isco, that would be an exciting battle for me. Um, Nato, now he's a goalkeeper of um, Barcelona, the Brazilian. He is. Um, I don't think he's Barcelona goalkeeper for the time being. Maybe um, in recent times, but not um, of recently. Um, 31 years of age and I don't know if he's kept by Brazil. But all I know is he is a Barcelona player and he's been there for a little while. And um, I I don't know what I have to say about this other than we do need another goalkeeper and he seems to be the ideal solution. I mean, Renarsson is um, looked at as not being good enough because he had one poor game and I think that's harsh on him. However... Um, I hope he gets enough of an opportunity and proves the critics wrong. You know, including um, some Arsenal fans. We know we've got Arsenal fans are just impatient. And at the worst of times, they want you sold quickly. It doesn't just work like that, you know. They got, you know, they've got, there's got um, there's a contract that does mean something. There's certain parts of the contract that mean something, but the majority of the contract don't mean a thing. So, um... I just hope when Arsene stays and if he decides to stay and fights for his place, that's um, good news for me personally and good news for him. So let's see how that happens. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, to the boys and the girls, I'm going to wrap this up and say thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching and putting up with me and my little dodgems. <laughs> um, I'll be back um, later on with another content. And then at 7 o'clock, I'll be bringing you my... Um, personal views of the starting 11 hopefully it's a 4-2-3-1 and my views on the substitute substitution bench for the game at home to Newcastle in the Premier League tonight so stay tuned um, once again it's peace love and bless again and do remember if you've got any if you've got an opinion or any thoughts or views then please feel free and welcome to leave it in the comment section below Please help me by smashing the thumbs up like button and do remember to help me subscribe to my um, channel. That's myself and I only do subscribe to me, DLG Repping, please. And um, we'll keep this channel growing and I'll do my very best to keep you, to give you um, football, um, the latest football content that happens in the beautiful game. And, um, yeah, you guys have got to do your best and help me grow this channel by subscribing to show your interest and love for my project. And other than that, I'll see you later. So, be nice.